have something to rant about. Unpopular opinion, maybe, potentially. I hate those YouTube videos that are titled like, I learned Portuguese in a week. Like, no you didn't. If it's something like, I studied French for six months and reached conversational fluency or like a B2 level, that I can believe. That I can believe and that's motivating. However, what I'm talking about is the videos that are like, I learned how to speak Korean in a month. I learned Italian in two weeks. It can't be possible to learn a language that quickly. Children's take years upon years of listening and speaking. The reason I don't like that kind of video is I have two reasons. Point number one, a language is something that has been cultivated throughout centuries upon centuries. You're not gonna master it in a couple of weeks. I do think that the definition of fluency is very subjective. No one is necessarily like a master in a language, in any language, even in your native language. Whether your definition of fluency is conversational level or like business level or like a C2 level, that depends on the person, that's fine but I fail to believe that you can even achieve a conversational level of fluency within a couple of weeks. Which brings me to my second point, which is that kind of makes it unmotivating for me because like I'm spending months upon months on Spanish. I was doing years on French. That makes me feel just like I'm dumb and stupid. Like that's how my brain works. And some of those videos, it's like I learned, I Portuguese, learned Portuguese in a month. month. I didn't know anything about Portuguese before this. I did not say anything. I'm Spanish, but I grew up in Italy. I don't know why I can learn it so fast. I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. Like we're just like starting in different starting points. Maybe they're just super smart people. Maybe they did actually become like conversationally fluent in a couple of weeks. And I just don't know because I don't click on those videos. But just the title pisses me off. That's it. I don't even watch those videos. Like just the title annoys me and that's it. And also I guess it feels just like a competition. That's my problem. Like learning a language is anything but a competition. But also like, why am I so pressed that day? What for? Like, why am I so triggered? I can't even remember. So that was a little wee rant. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you agree or if this is actually an unpopular opinion. <laughs> so since we started off with that negative bit, I'm gonna put in some positive, a casual miracle that has happened. So basically a few weeks ago, I was with my friend Paulina. We were just like walking, minding our own business and we heard this music coming out slightly from a basement and we discovered a Cuban basement bar and they were having a live performance of the Cuban salsa music. Everybody there spoke Spanish but me. And that's when I learned that Cubans talk really, really fast. Do you understand how crazy that is? This is Tokyo. This is not Florida. This is Tokyo. And we found this underground Cuban bar in basically the middle of nowhere. Crazy. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Why did I just say folks? I never say folks. Today, I decided to dedicate an hour and a half to uh, continue my Spanish studies. I'm still on like lesson 20 and it's still pretty easy, honestly. Like apart from some vocabulary, it's mostly things that I already know. So I'd like to go through it as quickly as possible. And I'm feeling so unmotivated to do it that I decided to drag you along with me. <laughs> I want to learn Mexican Spanish, but this one is teaching me Spain Spanish. They use a lot of different words. And like sometimes in the explanation, it would say like, this word is only exclusively used in Spain. Usually they use a different word in Latin America. I'm like, well, what's the word in Latin America? <laughs> so that's a little bit confusing um, about the Spanish language. But I'm glad I have Paulina to refer back to. I'm always asking her like, I learned this in my Spain Spanish textbook. Do you say that in Mexico? She's like, no. Don't say that. So we got a situation here. So basically I was watching this series called Betty in New York and I chose to watch this because it was a one season show because I didn't want to get into like a five season whole epic franchise type of thing. And then I was like, okay, now let, let me just check how many more episodes I have. There's until episode 123. I feel so betrayed. I realized that actually a lot of Spanish TV shows does this. Like for example, if we look at that one season, if you look through all the episodes, oh my goodness, we have until episode 69. Honey, nobody has time for that. Presso number one, episode 64. To prove my point, 
episode 91. It's just so unnecessary. I'm kind of like now finally starting to realize that it's actually really important to pick an accent when you start doing Spanish. I've heard a lot of people say that before. I kind of picked Mexican, I guess, but I'm starting to realize like now, finally that, okay, this is why it's important to just kind of choose one. Like it can be whatever, it can be your Spain Spanish, it could be Mexico, it could be Peru, it could be Cuba, but you have to choose somewhere, at least when you're like starting to learn all these stuff because like, if you're thrown like five different ways to say one noun, like it's like, you don't want to learn all of them. You don't want to. So I realized that it's just easier to have one region that you want to stick to because then you can Google like, how do you say whatever word in Mexico? And then all these like Mexican answers would come up and you'd be like, okay, I don't care about the other words for now. I'll just try to learn this. So yeah. That's that. I started watching the show Elite and these people speak so incredibly fast that the literally the only thing I'm learning so far is the fact that you guys put the word puta in every single sentence. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm learning so far. I know this video is all over the place, but thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Emmy, by the way. I don't think I even introduced myself. I'm Emmy. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My voice is so quiet because there are people sleeping in the room next door, but, but yeah, uh, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope you have a great day or a night and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.